Hey everybody, thank you for taking the time to watch in the channel. Past, present, and future peer, it's your host, past, present, and future. Um, I got my NASA hot on, ladies and gentlemen, so you know what time it is, man. You know we're getting into a NASA story. <laughs> so I have an article straight out of um, USA Today. Um, NASA will crash a spacecraft into a 525 foot wide asteroid in September. And here's how to watch it. Now, what's interesting is um, if you know uh, NASA's past, um, they don't like to showcase things. And I, I have like a love and hate relationship when it comes to NASA. I, I like to use the words, never a straight answer. <laughs> because, man, I feel like they always like, I want to tell us everything and they're like misconstruing stuff. But anywho, that's for another day in another video. Well, let's get into it. Yeah, so NASA's preparing for an Armageddon-like mission of crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid and it wants the public to watch live. So let's get into it. Asteroids frequently get close to striking Earth, but it has been more than 65 million years since a ca catastrophic collision with our planet. There has been a renewed interest in objects hurling towards us since the popularity of the 2021 Doomsday Comedy Don't Look Up. Now, if you don't, if you haven't heard of this, um, it's actually a Netflix movie, and you gotta watch. It's really a good movie. It's featuring Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Blanchett, and Matthew Perry. And I, um, I'm not gonna be the one that gives you guys like spoilers, but it has to pertain towards like an asteroid coming towards or hurling towards Earth, and them trying to redirect it. So as you can see, the parallels that what parallels that we're going to be pertaining to into this article here. So I'll continue. The Space Agency's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, were crashed into the asteroid Dimorphos, which orbits a larger asteroid named Didymus next month. Scientists say neither asteroid is headed towards Earth, but Dimorphos, an estimate 520 feet long, is an asteroid that could cause significant damage if it were to hit Earth, NASA says. So, as you can see, what DART is trying to accomplish here is to divert uh, potential hazardous uh, asteroids slash comet that will um, come really close to Earth. So you can see the importance of all of this, though. But what's actually interesting is the name of the asteroid that they gave it, Didymus, Dimorphos. And as you know, um, on my channel, um, that word is actually Greek for twin. And on my channel, Greek is going to be pointed out really heavily <laughs> when it comes to ancient antiquity. Because if you don't know Greek history, you're doing yourself a disservice because there's a lot of hidden gems in Greek mythology. Well, in all of the mythologies, but especially in Greek pertaining to the Western civilization. So, as I'll show you here when it comes to that. Didymus 65803. Asteroid, and it is small moonlight Dimophorus, makes up what's called a binary asteroid system, meaning the small moon Dimophorus orbits the larger body Didymus like I said earlier, so it actually has its own natural satellite, like how Earth does. The two asteroids are not a threat to Earth, but because they do pass relatively close to the Earth, they were chosen as a target for NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART mission, as I explained earlier into the article. The agency's first mission to test planetary defense technology this technology could one day be used to deflect hazardous asteroids on a collision course with Earth. So you can see the potential, as I just explained earlier, the importance of them running this um, test um, and his exploration and the connection with the Greek word. Didymus, which means twin in Greek, was discovered on April 11, 1996 by researcher Joseph Montana of Space Watch at Kitt Peak National Observatory and Tucson, Arizona. Montana also suggests the name. 
Indications arose that Dedimus might have a moon after scientists spotted multiple echoes in data from NASA's Goldstone Solar System radar, located in the Mojave Desert near Bassa, California. The suspicions were confirmed by analyzing optical light curves, teles telescopic observation showing the brightness of an object over a period of time. Along the radar, images from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico taken on November 3rd, 2003. So as you can see here, after running numerous tests, they confirmed that, that yes, this was actually a binary asteroid indicating that it had a natural satellite following it. So very interesting. So I'll continue here. Regardless of the outcome, the mission will give astronomers and scientists important data on what the response would be if an asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. No threat exists now, scientists say. So, as um, I'll leave the article here, and um, I just want to segue, because what brings my attention is actually towards the movie. <laughs> and like I said, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. I really want you guys to watch the movie and to enjoy it. But... There is actually another asteroid that will be uh, gravitating a little bit close to Earth. And as I said, the Greek language is going to be an ongoing theme when it comes to my channel. And this certain asteroid, um, which I will give you the name right now, Apophis. And if you all know all my astronomers on my channel, you know where I'm getting into. But Apophis, named after the Egyptian deity set and could be used as a pip also so like i keep saying is you need to understand greek mythology egyptian mythology actually all the mythologies of all of these past civilizations because someone is trying to tell you something there's something interesting in these stories they're not just sitting these people weren't just sitting back and writing down stories for no reason they're trying to tell you something but like I said, um, I'll show you here interesting facts about the uh, asteroid Apophis, as you'll see here. 99942. Apophis is a near Earth asteroid and potential hazardous asteroid with a diameter of 370 meters, 1,210 feet, that caused a brief period of concern in two December 2004 when initial obs observations indicated a probability up to 2.7% that it would hit Earth on April 13th, 2029. Additional observation provided improved predictions that eliminate the possibility of impact on Earth in 2029. So you can see the concern that this brought us back in the day. But I want to give you guys a brief little history about this and now I will show you the connection when it comes to the same name of an Egyptian deity, as I sh as you'll see here. See this? Who is Apophis? Apophis has quite the reputation. He's known as the god of evil, chaos, darkness, and destruction. In some retelling of his legend, Apophis was actually a former sun god. And if you watch my videos on my channel, each ancient civilization depicted two sons when it came to the greeks the romans and the egyptian they always had two deities depicting two sons which is very interesting who was pushed aside when ra came onto the stage ra and apophis are therefore constantly fighting since apophis does not want him to succeed in his task of bringing dawn every day apophis is the great serpent enemy of the sun god ra in ancient Egyptian religion, the sun was Ra's great barge, which sailed through the sky from dawn to dusk and then descended into the underworld. As it sailed through the darkness, it was attacked by Apophis, who sought to kill Ra and prevent sunrise. On board with the great ship, a number of different gods and goddesses are depicted in different eras as well. As the justified dead, and all of these helped fend off the serpent. Ancient Egyptian priests and lay people would engage in rituals to protect Ra and destroy Apophis. And through these observances, link the living with the dead and the natural order as established by the gods. 
So the reason I bring this to attention to you guys is if you haven't noticed all these uh, when it comes to NASA, all these asteroids, the Apollo missions, the Saturn V rockets are named after planetary bodies, which all revert back to Greek and Egyptian deities. So pay attention to all these symbols and these names that they give us. But as I'll show you here, when will DART hit the asteroid Dimorphos? DART will complete its 10 minute journey through space on September 26 at 7.14 p.m. NASA's live coverage will begin at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, hopefully if I have some time, I'll be live broadcasting it myself so we all could watch it together. Um, so I'll be leaving the article, but yeah, so what did you guys think? Uh, when it comes to all this Greek mythology that's wrapped into all these planetary bodies when it comes to the planets, these asteroids. Um, it's really interesting. And even to the um, shuttles that we use to the Apollo missions, the Saturn V rockets. Hmm. But anywho, I hope you guys like the content i hope you guys like the article i'll leave the link in the bio but please take some time to uh check out my channel i do book reviews i do um other articles pertaining to ancient history and my channel has been booming lately so i want to take the time and say thank you guys for taking time to watch this it really means a lot to me um i'll be putting out a series um real soon so keep an eye out for that i don't want to give you guys any spoilers but i will be doing a segue video coming soon so thank you for your time to watching the video i appreciate you guys all the time and stay blessed everybody i'll see you guys in the next video take care all right